Hey, Castle Grimwald. Let's hope for a bullshitless level. Oh yeah, best part of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right, let's get this level started. Can it be Nazis? A blessing from the heavens. Developers did something right for once. Do you know what you do to Nazis? Shut out of them. That's a vicarious joy like Mari Povich. Grass. Grass fucking kills you now? What the fuck? You gotta be kidding me! What the okay, maybe it's just not tonight. You fucking grass! How incompetent are these damn programmers? Instead of flames coming down, you got a bunch of rocks going down like the building's gonna. Holy shit, you see how fast that Nazi wanted this patrol? Good lord, man, these Nazis have to be dedicated to their Jane Fonda tapes. In fact, it's almost as if this game is. glorified. Those rocks, what the hell just hit me? I mean, it, it couldn't have been those rocks, they fell before- You've gotta be kidding me. Searchlights. FUCKING SEARCHLIGHTS TORT YOU! This is ridiculous! So now, you're telling me that I've gotta run through this level, avoid all the Nazis, while at the same time avoiding all of these goddamn searchlights, and rocks that fall every goddamn ten seconds! YOU THINK I'M ENJOYING THIS?! YOU THINK I'M GOING AROUND HAVING FUN WITH THIS?! And I also want to know whose idea was it to put upbeat techno music in a castle level. Let's just go to the boss! If you're expecting a good boss fight here, prepare to be mortally disappointed. They couldn't pick anybody from the Woodwall Castle, yet they picked this Nazi infantry man, this generic! I mean, come on, couldn't we just have Andy beating the shit out of Hitler for his autograph or something? Let's try beating this- What the hell?! Why can't this guy get hit?! Come on! Fucking get hit! Come on! Let's try this. Oh! You're supposed to jump around and hit him from the back! What the hell is this? Some sort of Nazi block with like a weakness in the back? Lord, man! Alright. I'm fucking pissed off as hell. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy once and for all. Yeah, take that, you Nazi program, motherfucker! I'll kill you! Ha ha ha! I own your face off! Ha 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 ha! Oh yeah! I win! Everybody turn off their headphones for the next ten seconds. <gasps> okay, let's just forget that ever happened. Alright, I'm at the Holy Grail level now. <laughs> At least it can't be as bad as the last level I was on. Oh, come on! I take that statement back. This level is bullshit! Wanna know how to get past these swinging axes? Nope, you can't go under them. You gotta wait until they go around and then walk past them. And remember, Andy can't run, so it requires precision perfect timing. Bullshit! And you know, this wouldn't be half bad if it weren't for the fact that behind you the floor is goddamn collapsing on you. That means you can't waste your damn time, which is all just bullshit! So I'm finally past the swinging axes. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! They expect me to go under that? Alright, let's fight. Oh, come on, I can't even crawl under it! That's bullshit! Uh, how do you know you go under it? You run straight forward when it's going the other way, and then duck! So, it's pretty much like, go ahead, take a wild guess, walk forward when it's on the other side, and then duck when it's coming down! Yeah, that makes perfect sense for all the children! Alright, so I'm finally past the axis of the- What the hell?! Uh, oh, wait a minute. This is a jumping puzzle! <laughs> With you know how fluid and responsive the controls are, this should be a piece of cake, right? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm not reverting to old ways again. Okay, so I finally got past the jumping puzzle, which was a real pain in the ass to do, let me tell you. And now I- What the- Oh, oh wait a minute. That was in the movie! Oh, thank God I actually caught that one. Or else everyone else would have just been bitching at me for something I missed. Oh, that's it! <laughs> well, here it is. The Holy Grail scene. The suspense! 
And you just gotta love that half ass design with Indy Jones' head on the bottom left hand corner. You chose Oops. poorly. Oh, nose! <sighs> An annoying mismatch of 16 bit sound! Something bad's bound to happen! That's it? That's all I get for that horrible death that I get for choosing the wrong grail? It doesn't even look like he died. It's just like it seems like he aged 10, 15 years. Uh, you chose poorly. Now endure midlife crisis. <laughs> if I remember the movie correctly, the Grail is a wooden cup with a golden interior. And since there are only two wooden cups, this shouldn't take much of a genius. But <gasps> I got to the ending of a game I've reviewed to steal. Okay, seriously, this ending sucks. Look at this half-assery. I mean, hell, the guy even wounded probably isn't even Sean Connery, for all I know. Just some dude dropping grail water on the wound. <laughs> Where the hell saw that Marcus Brody? I thought there were four horses riding into the sunset. That's it? I spent all this time going through all this bullshit, and this is all you give me? Some half-ass scenes and a the end? Couldn't they at least say, Congratulations! Your perseverance has allowed us to laugh in your face as you spent your hard-earned $50 on this piece of shit! You had three years to make a good game, US Gold! What kind of incompetent programmers are you? I decided to replay this game because I thought I was too harsh on it in my December review. But guess what? Thanks to all this bullshit that happens in the later levels, I wasn't harsh enough! This game is a fetal aborted hell spot that should have been executed by firing squad. And thank the lord I wasn't a big Indiana Jones fan in my childhood, because this game would have raped me sideways until I was bleeding on my belly button. Because of this, I'm going out to put you in a newly formed group that I like to call... Big Three. The Big Three, yes. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Superman, and yes, Batman Forever. Oh, hold on. Let me take a look at that cover again. Huh. Indiana Jones on horseback, aiming a gun, while avoiding an airplane and a German convoy in the middle of a desert. Too bad none of these things appear in the goddamn game! So what's this? US Gold can't even properly advertise the game? It would have been better off just Indiana Jones just holding a sword and shield while fighting a dragon in the middle of a castle. Hell, at least the castle was in the game. I didn't want it to come to this, but I have no choice. I've said it once! And I'll say it again! Nazis program this piece of shit! And if you honestly think I'm just overreacting to this game, how dare you not to get angry when you're in no man's land in the catacombs? I dare you not to be pissed off when you're trying to get through Castle Brindwald in one piece. I dare you not to tear your hair out when you're going through the jumping puzzle in the Holy Grail. I dare you. And then you come back and talk to me. Tonight, Godspeed. The proceeding with you contain gluttonous amounts of swearing, anger, and a sheer half assery to begin with. Viewer discretion should have been strongly advised. And to all you haters who are still watching and still think I suck, why did you even bother? You could have gone outside and gotten some fresh air, fat to damn cartoon pornography, or hell even tried to go out and get laid yourself. By effectively wasting 15 minutes of your pathetic life, I win.